In a story you will only see on ABC 17 News at 6, a man has been caught on camera walking into a gun store with his weapon drawn. Target Masters General Manager tells us it's the same man we showed you on Friday. Jason Schilke is already in jail on two road rage incidents. Right now, ABC 17 Sasha Gomez joins us live in studio. And Sasha, you also spoke to detectives today. Ashley, I did. Now, the detectives could not confirm if the man in the video you're about to see is the same man that was taken into custody. But the manager at Target Masters tell me it's definitely him. This afternoon, Joe Gilbert, the general manager of this store, showed me surveillance of a man who entered their gun store with a gun pointed in their direction. Take a look at this video. You can see Gilbert is on the right with the customer, and within a matter of seconds, this happens. Gilbert says he told the man to put his gun down, and according to him, the man did comply and said he just wanted a holster for his gun. We showed the video to Detective O'Sullivan with the Boone County Sheriff's Department, who says people have to be responsible gun owners. You don't handle a firearm like it's the TV remote control or a set of car keys, and you have to be aware that any actions you may take with a firearm has consequences. And again, luckily for this store, the man complied and placed the gun on the counter and said, I'll be right back. I, I got to get the money out of my car. And then he took off. So he didn't buy anything. He looked, you know, he just, he, he can't describe it, but he just wasn't right. So luckily he complied. Detectives say they had every right to be concerned with how this man handled a gun. Well, the story is don't walk in and point a gun at somebody loaded or unloaded, and especially with your finger on the trigger. And we know police are looking into this video to see if this is the same man we reported to you on Friday. Ashley? All right, Sasha, thanks. If you want to watch the video released only to ABC 17 News, you can watch it on our website at abc17news.com.